and welcome to the T800 podcast. We are in Christmas, obviously. I'm in the spirit. We've got the lights up. Cool. Right. Uh, so, uh, I want to start by saying uh, this is going out on YouTube. Um, I've took all the information that I've got from YouTube, uh, from sources, everywhere. Um, I still think there's caution to be had with YouTube. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is the um, Ecto-1 build and my Terminator build. I know this is Terminator, but stay with me. Uh, are going to continue on my YouTube channel. That is probably about the only videos I will do. Um, in the new year, I'm planning on doing lots and lots of stuff, but it will be mostly on my Facebook page. Now, if you're watching this through Facebook, thank you. Uh, remember to give us a thumbs up. There is a link, there is a little thing that says the Nexus above somewhere, this side or this side. Uh, if you click on that and then all you gotta do is click like, that's it. And it will tell you every time I put a video out and you can come and have a look at the videos, come and get in the discussions as well. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as well. And so it's always worth coming up and um, just see what's, what's going on, really. So, um, where are we? Um, we're at the end of the year, and our Terminator looks like this. I am so impressed with how it looks at the moment. Um, and when you look at it like this, you kind of think, well, what else is there? The pelvis, the legs, the other arm, the stand. And you kind of think, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's not long. But this this bad boy doesn't finish he doesn't finish until 2021 20, yeah so we've got all of next year as well so yeah i don't i don't really know they're really going to stretch it out i think they really are going to stretch this out but i am massively impressed with how it is at the moment and how it looks um even with the, the spine and stuff like that. i know some people said um that they were worried about how the spine was going to go um, and how it's going to sit and all of that. Um, there will be, obviously there will be something on here that will click into the pelvis. Uh, I've tried looking and it looks like that there's uh, a sort of um, a triangle block section just here that screws on, that that goes into the pelvis. Uh, my only fear is the legs being die cast. Uh, now in saying that, because this will pull and there'll be a lot of pressure on this on this bracket just here obviously we'll have the the pistons as well but going by the pistons that we have on the arms here i think they're going to be plastic but that is where we are at the moment and I've, i'm massively impressed with how it looks at the moment and this is just going to be an awesome build i'm glad that i did this um we are up to issue 42 uh, obviously coming in next issue we have parts of the pelvis um, I don't know which parts but they're obviously parts of the pelvis um, so what we've got to look forward to in January I would imagine that we'll continue working on the pelvis um, uh, uh, now we're, we're starting on it I think that we'll probably build up the pelvis I think for the time being we're probably done for the chest area though there's still quite a lot to do on that uh, it looks like that we're going further down. Maybe we're going to get the legs as well. It's all exciting. I mean, it's it's so good. I mean, I'm very excited about it. Obviously about other builds as well, but I'm really excited how the T800 is really coming along. Uh, I've also seen mods as well, which is great. Um, so they, I've seen there are teeth mods, um, eye mods, gun mods. There was... Any mod you really want is probably going to be out for this. Uh, like with all my builds, I won't be doing the mods. Um, just because I always build mine standard. Um, I think you spend enough money on these as it is. And spending even more money is a bit silly, really. But that's just my opinion. Obviously, if you want yours to be more accurate and, and more whatever, then that is fine. You can do that. But I always build my models standard. I do not modify them in any way. That way you can see how they're supposed to, how they look. 
and how they go. Uh, also, with the modifications, I find that the mods are coming out. Uh, like with the eyes and the teeth, you have to sort of take stuff apart, and if you and uh, and then put it back together. Now, if you um, if you know anything, you'll know stuff is more easier taking apart than putting back together. And we've already put this apart. Uh, we've already put this together. Uh, taking it apart will be easy. Uh, it's just putting it back together again. It'll be a nightmare. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm. I'm really happy with how it's going, how it's good. Um, there's a few things I want to discuss. Obviously, the finger uh, replacements. Now, I've already got them. I asked them through Facebook months and months and months ago. Um, issue 41 come out. And I had my spare parts, but a lot of subscribers didn't. Uh, I don't really know why that was. Uh, you just didn't get them. I don't really know. Um, my advice would be to contact Hachette and um, really try and get them to send them out to you. Um, so I've got them also as well. People have been having problems saying that they're, they're no better than what's on there at the moment. Um, there are a lot of lot of different things to do. Shink, um, shrink wrap and um, blue tack are the, probably the best ones to do. Uh, I haven't had a problem with my T800, but then again, I'm not going to be constantly moving the fingers. So mine's going to be in a fist the whole time, and the other one will probably be in a fist as well. I won't be pulling the fingers about uh, the position that they are actually are in the moment. At the moment, that's how they're going to ever stay. They're never going to move. Um, so it depends on, I think, how, how much you're going to move them. Um... Once, once it's it's posed, are you going to continue moving it? I think it's going to be very. It's it's a statue figure, so um, it's a bit like a, a bumblebee up there. So uh, I put him in a stand, and I haven't really moved it since I got it. Uh, every now and then, I might same with Picard as well. So it depends on if you're going to sort of move it more. You need to worry about it, but I don't. But I know some people have been having problems with that and um and that's that's really it i mean there's not much more uh to discuss apart from uh Hachette's warehouse move now i know there was an email sent out to everyone now i don't subscribe but i have bought stuff from Hachette, uh, and i got the email saying that they're moving warehouse and there's going to be disruption to online orders so this uh, right at the very bottom, if anybody actually read the email properly, right at the very bottom, it was in small writing. They should have made it a lot clearer, a lot bigger. But in very small writing at the bottom, it said, this will not affect news agents or subscription deliveries. Uh, and this only runs up until the new year. So the way you pay... Uh, the, now, this is just a warehouse move. So this is not a... Um, a sort of headquarters or anything like that move so I know some people were worried that they sent stuff to the company and then they've just got this email saying it's been moved it's just a warehouse nothing nothing else and it only does online orders now I know I think it's disrupted their fate their um, website so I think their website is slightly down I don't think you can order anything from them at the moment maybe they're going to update the website but it's affected every Hachette collection, including the Rootmaster. Uh, I think there's the um, the Assassin's Creed collection. There's, it's affected everything. Um, so uh, you've got your December delivery. So my advice is not to panic if you're worried about when your next subscription is coming out. It will be in January. Um, I think that's why a lot of the subscribers got their deliveries earlier. Uh, because uh, obviously this one come out and subscribers had it before us, before news agents. Um, so they actually had it an issue ahead. Uh, but I don't think going forward there's going to be much disruption. Saying that, there could be, there could be, um, um, with everything going on. Um, but yeah, that is that is it from us here at the Nexus for our T800 podcast. Uh, no shout outs this week. Or this month because uh, no one put a shout out on the last video but just to round it off yep we know there's a problem with the uh, the floppy fingers um, I don't think Hachette are in a position to 
rectify that. Uh, and that is up to us, us to do that. And there's loads of different methods out there. Uh, the move, the warehouse move, uh, like I just said, won't affect your subscriptions and won't affect the way you pay. And, um, and that's it. <laughs> and that is it. We're, we're really far ahead now. The only last thing to do is this last one of this year. So have a happy Christmas and a merry new year. And we will see you in the new year. We'll see you then.